If you have heard of the new M2 MacBook Pro performance, you are probably wondering what makes it better than its predecessor. With over 4 billion more transistors, 50% increased unified memory bandwidth, and two additional GPU cores, there is an undoubted improvement. Whether it is 40% faster graphics, or simultaneously streaming 4K and 8K videos, the M2 might be better. For today's video, we will present details of this. Let us get started. First, the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro review shows that there is an upgrade from the previous generation of M1. Even though this is an M1 MacBook Pro versus M2 MacBook Pro, both models are relatively identical in design and physical attributes. They have the same dimensions and weight. The M2-based MacBook Pro also has a touch bar, making the pair the only Macs to have the feature. Besides, M1 MacBook Pro versus M2 MacBook Pro share the same chip-making process. They are made from the chip fabrication process, where a new and improved generation of silicon semiconductor chips have an increased transistor density, increased speed, and reduced power consumption. While the power consumption is minimized, there is an increase in the performance on the neutral engine, the side of the GPU. Now, 15.8 trillion can sail through in a second. That is 40% faster than the M1. Video conversions have also advanced. We will present all these changes to you shortly. Despite the Apple M2 sharing the same 5 nanometer chip making process, it has 20 billion transistors. To compare, the M1 has 4 billion fewer transistors. Both chips share 8 CPU cores, 4 performance cores, and 4 efficiency cores. In addition, the M1 had 16 GB of unified memory, while the M2 boasts 24 GB. The unified memory bandwidth has also increased 50% since M1, capping at 100 GB per second. The improved architectural engineering has catapulted the M2 chip's performance. Brilliant. Moreover, tests have proven that the M2 MacBook Pro performance in graphics is 35% faster than the M1. For starters, the cores have increased by two, now sporting a 10-core integrated graphics processing units, ahead of the 8-core integrated graphics from M1. The enhancements, especially additional cores, are responsible for this. According to the Apple website, the most graphically intensive games and media are faster by 40% compared to those who have the M1-equipped MacBook. The website's newsroom states, the neural engine can process up to 15.8 trillion operations per second, over 40% more than M1. That is not all. If you use raw images or encode and decode in the media engine, you have excellent news too. Now. The M2 allows you to stream 4K and 8K videos simultaneously. Again, you can play back about 11 streams of 4K videos. Lastly, for media and gaming enthusiasts, video conversion is three times faster with M2. Further, the new M2 MacBook Pro review proves that both models have the same camera. They share a 720p FaceTime high definition camera and three mic array as its predecessor had. Nevertheless, the image signal processor ensures better video call performance. The new chip corrects many levels of noise reduction, white balance, and exposure levels automatically. Of course, the display has not changed either. Both MacBook Pros share a 13.3-inch LED backlit display with IPS. As well, there is a resolution of 2560 by 1600 at 227 pixels per inch. Additionally, True Tone and 500 nits of maximum brightness are assured. Speaking of True Tones, there is a hot topic of what the speakers on M2 can add to audios. They support spatial audio, a feature that adds 3D effects to most audios. We will present that and other simultaneous features of both M1 and M2 chips for comparison shortly. Don't go anywhere. Meanwhile, the models share a pair of Universal Serial Bus 4 slash Thunderbolt 3 ports on connectivity and ports. These ports support the DisplayPort to Thunderbolt data transfer at 40 gigabytes per second speed. Both chips have headphone jacks, but the new model has specific support for high impedance headphones. Again, the M2 and M1 MacBook Pro support Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi 6. For external display connection, M2 only supports displays with up to 6K resolution at 60 Hz. Click to subscribe and get the best scope on everything electronics, especially with your favorite companies. 
The remaining miscellaneous features on both the M2 and M1 are strikingly similar. They each offer speakers, but while the M1 is a regular stereo speaker, the M2 model supports spatial audio, an advantage for some audio tracks to include a three-dimensional effect. Halloween music probably has not sounded more haunting. Try it out now and let us know if your neighbors start a rumor about your being in a cult. How scary is that? <laughs> and while the M2 allows for a 37 watts charging brick, only 61 watts is given on the M1 power adapter. In similarity, the pair come in silver and space gray. They also came with the same keyboard and trackpad. Next, they're going for the same starting price of $1,299. In the ideal world, we have given you everything to make you upgrade to the new Apple M2. But is that not what new Apple products have always been about? Well, if you have not seen our previous video, we zoom in on the M2 alone and explain what makes it superior, not only over M1, but also over other competitors' chipsets. Watch Apple M2, everything you should know.